All right, now we're going to walk you through creating your offer and go a little bit into why it's important that you understand where your business is and where it's going because your offer in a lot of ways needs to resonate with what sequence, what uh, stage of the sequence your business is in. So if you're in the beginning stages and your offer needs to resonate with people that you can help while you're in this beginning stage where the further you, along you progress, the more skills you develop, the, the more social proof you have, the more uh, milestones you reach in your own business, the more that you can help people and uh, ultimately grow your offers. So for myself, right, I started off with Instagram and uh, doing social media marketing and digital media marketing. Then I transitioned into teaching other people how to use Instagram for social media and digital media marketing. And then I transitioned into coaching and then I transitioned into group coaching and uh, courses and so on and so forth. So my offers have evolved as my audience has grown, uh, my knowledge has expanded and I've grown as a business owner. So I could teach people to go from where I was to where I am. All right, pretty basic stuff. So <clears throat> the first step in creating an offer is that you need to, first off, identify a problem that you solve okay <clears throat> what kind of problems does your ideal client have all right what kind of problems can you help them solve okay uh, you should know this because we've done many, many trainings, and I talk about it all the time about your ideal client niching down and creating an avatar. So you should know this by now, all right? So identifying a problem that you can solve. Uh, big problems, all right? You wanna solve big problems, ones that will help them make their life easier. Uh, all right, make money. Give back time. You get the picture. Okay? So make a list. I would make a list of like five or ten things. All right, identify a problem you could solve. I'd say like make a list of five or ten things. Okay? Now... For each one of these problems, you want to create a solution. Okay, so create a solution for each problem. You want to uh, think of every way your solution wouldn't work. Why someone wouldn't want to use your solution potential uh, roadblocks or complications the reason you want to do this is because you want to have everything you want to have everything potentially negative against your solution already thought about. All right? You, you want to have it already thought about. Again, you want to lay out your value ladder. We've done a training on your value ladder already, so you want to lay it out. And you want to make sure that you have something for each piece of your value ladder. Have a offer for each level of your value ladder. All right, so that'd be free slash lead magnet, low ticket, mid-level, high ticket. This is how you're going to tap more of your audience and solve more problems, okay? Understand your customer journey. It must flow. All 
Okay. So when you're thinking about this, you you really want to understand uh, what stage of your customer journey sequence are your ideal clients where are you taking them where have they been all right now what you want to do nope lay out your value ladder now what you want to do is you want to uh, identify the uh, transformation. Okay. What are they going to receive from your offer? Okay, and so they want what's in it for them? what's in it for them you also want to uh, identify deliverables what's tangible right what's real to them what are their desired uh, results what should their desired results be? All right. This is all about identifying, uh, you know, their, uh, their overall new identity. And then finally, pick a name. Name should reflect desired transformation, uh, problem solved, solution, easily identified. Okay. B very clear and specific all right now this will help you to get your offer off the ground and to create offers that will uh, resonate with your target audience and also help you to make more money because it'll be based off of their needs and you'll have all the objections that they might have and all of that stuff uh, immediately. All right, so let me know if you have any questions in the community and I'll see you on the next training.